Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover a concerning study, as researchers warn that melting ice in Antarctica could affect the world's oceans for centuries. Scientists have yet again sounded a warning over global warming and have said that melting ice in and around Antarctica is now threatening to dramatically slow deep water currents in oceans across the world. This, in turn, can impact the spread of freshwater, oxygen and life-sustaining nutrients for centuries. The model created as part of the study indicates faster Antarctic ice melts are driving a substantial slowdown of circulation of water in the ocean depths if global carbon emissions continue to remain high. The researchers have published their findings in the journal Nature, reported AFP. The overturning circulation of waters in the deepest reaches of the oceans would slow by 40% by 2050 in a high emissions scenario, according to the study, which warned of impacts that would last for centuries to come. Matthew England, climate professor at University of New South Wales, says that if the model holds true, the deep ocean current will be on a trajectory that looks headed towards collapse. Trillions of tons of cold, highly salty and oxygen-rich water sinks around Antarctica each year, sending a deep water current northwards to the Indian Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, scientists say. The greater volumes of melting ice make the Antarctic waters less dense and salty, however, slowing the deep water circulation with consequences for climate, sea level, and marine ecosystems. If the oceans had lungs, this would be one of them, England said. He added that if oceans become stagnant below 4,000 meters, this would trap nutrients in the deep ocean reducing the nutrients available to support marine life near the ocean surface. UNSW Emeritus Professor John Church, who was not involved in the study, said there were many uncertainties about the impact of a declining deep ocean circulation. But it seems almost certain that continuing on a high greenhouse gas emission pathway will lead to even more profound effects on the ocean and the climate system, Church said. The world urgently needs to drastically reduce our emissions to get off the high emission pathway we are currently following. The study team included lead author Chen Li of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and co-authors from the Australian National University and Australia's National Research Organization. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay 